Hi you guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is C Chronicles. To those who are coming here for the first time, I do fragrance reviews mostly and I do lifestyle and fashion videos. Uh, so if it sounds like something you're interested in, please do consider subscribing. To my returning subscribers, I'd like to say thank you for coming back. I appreciate you as always. Uh, today I am bringing you a fragrance oil review um, and uh, I am going to tell you what I think about this fragrance oil. This is Swiss Arabian Amali. Swiss Arabian Amali okay so that is uh, I cannot you know I can't get the camera to focus so this is the uh, fragrance oil and um, this is a 15 ml and um, uh, it goes for between um, I'd say about 30 pounds somewhere there about um, and obviously you can find I will link uh, you know in the description box below where you can actually buy this fragrance oil um, so Swiss Arabian, as you know, is, you know, they, they do, they have a lot of uh, uh, perfumes. They also have this in a perfume version, but I am going to be talking about the oil today. So this is the presentation, guys, it comes, you know, like this beautiful gold bottle, right? Um, and then this is um, how you apply the oil. This is the applicator. Uh, so I'm going to apply the oil on my wrist. Okay, I already have this oil on my um, on both my arms. So what I'm just doing here for you is I'm just, uh, you know, I've done this for the purpose of this video, but I've already worn this oil because with oils, one thing to take note of is that sometimes they do not open up like perfumes because they, they are not sprayers. They do not contain alcohol. Some of them don't contain alcohol. So you wouldn't exactly get everything just by, you know, uh, rubbing this on your palm and, you know, coming here on, on, on camera and then boom, here I go. So all I want to say is I've already applied this on both my arms here and um, there. And I'm going to tell you about this free oil this is a floral woodsy musky fragrance oil okay it's the first thing that you get is a lot of uh, fruits okay um, and which is you know uh, expected because in the top notes it's got some pineapple it's got some lemon and it's got some um, apple and then in the mid it's got some rose and some jasmine and then in the base it's got some vanilla some caramel some sandalwood some ember, some musk, and some cedar. Right, so this is definitely a floral, woodsy, uh, musky uh, uh, fragrance. It's super feminine. Just by sniffing it, the first thing I got when I purchased it is, this is ultra feminine. Okay, the bottle actually suggests that, but I'm just going to emphasize that for people that were wondering, is this unisex? Of course, you could wear it as a male, but it screams pretty. It screams girly. It screams female. It's a pleasant, sweet, light floral, okay? And it stays close to the skin. So um, if you were looking at, uh, you know, buying this and everybody else around you to smell you, um, it really, they will smell you, it definitely. You know, because when I wore this the first time, after I'd taken a bath, my, my daughter definitely said, Mom, you bought a, a, a new fragrance. I've never smelled this on you. You smell good. So yes, you will be smelled, but that is like within the first hour because it's, it's, it sticks more to the skin. So it doesn't project that much, you know, so you will get compliments, but you know, you may need to reapply. That is basically what I'm trying to say. It starts off, like I said, with a busy floral, cocktail of florals, the apples, especially the pineapple. You know, I'm trying to distinguish whether it is the pineapple or the apple that I'm sniffing, but I think it's definitely the pineapple. And this lasts for about an hour and a half at about or two, depending on how much you apply. Because, you know, with, it, with fragrance oils, it just depends. Some people just like to apply just a little bit like that, you know, and some prefer to somewhat bathe in it you know so if you're going to just apply a little tad here a little bit there you know then definitely you know within an, an hour or two the floral the 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 fruits the fruitiness of it would have uh, vanished and then comes in these florals you know it you then get an almost it almost feels as though it wasn't fruity at all after these two hours because the florals really start to dom dominate. It's like you start to feel that musky rose coming through, which somewhat gives this this fragrance a bit of a, a light, airy feel. But this is by no means a fresh fragrance, a super fresh fragrance to me. 
no this is something that you could definitely pull even in the colder weather so this is this i wouldn't say is ideal for is only ideal for summer but i'm just saying after the about the two hour mark depending on how much oil you would have applied you then get these uh, floral florals coming in especially the uh, musky rose you know that gives it a light um sweet powderiness and then you you then get the uh vanilla it, it this um the, the 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 rose in here is quite luxurious you know um I, I i i am so into oils so you know i like using oils more than i do body mist so you know this oil is definitely on the luxurious side it's not your um you know your 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 typical uh, 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 you know, shy. The way the the, the 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 ingredients have been done here, or rather the, um, the the way the notes are coming through to me, the rose is beautiful. It gives it the sweetness, and again, I think the the vanilla also helps with a bit of some sweetness. But this is not at all a cloying fragrance. This is a sweet, uh, a bit on the quieter side a bit soapy as well. Maybe because of the musk as well. The musk in that rose makes it a bit soapy. The caramel in here, because I noticed a lot of uh, Swiss Arabian oils with caramel, you know, the caramel tends to be sticky. This caramel here is, you know, a bit on the quieter side. It's it's there, but it's not at all bordering on cloying. You know, it is a bit on the quiet side. Definitely a happy effervescent scent, uh, you know, if you would like to try this. And uh, the, the other thing I noticed is it does come in a fragrance spray as well. I think it is, um, if I'm not mistaken, it's 75 mils or 100 mil, one of the two. It does come in a spray. There is three in this range. Uh, there's this one, there's another one with a, a deeper... Um, red rose i think it's called rouge and then there's another one with like a purple one this is the amali is the one with the pink one i haven't tried the other two but i just wanted to state that if you're buying this fragrance or you consider buying this fragrance it comes in like the, the, this particular range has three maybe four i wouldn't know but you know i did notice that it does have three um so yeah it is a happy effervescent scent a bit on the sparkly side so uh definitely uh uh okay it's it is okay to me like i said it does have that musk that that make, gives it that uh softer luxurious feel as well kind of reminds me because um i did go through one of my samples narciso rodriguez pudre it does have a it does share a bit of some dna a bit of some similarity with that fragrance so if you use that one or you um you know uh, uh, uh wanted to know what i could liken it to i'd say definitely narciso rodriguez's pudre uh, it's something along those lines the only downside with this is the long longevity again depending on how much you are going to apply it on your skin if you're going to apply this uh you know if you're going to bath, bathe in it or Obviously, it's going to, um, you know, scream out and last a lot longer. But if you're going to just do one application or, you know, just the way you should apply oils, this this is a bit on the uh, uh, um, uh, on the reapply side. It does not have the longevity I was expecting, especially from a fragrance oil. Um, and then in terms of sillage, this is beautiful. It, the sillage is beautiful, especially in hot weather. I haven't tried this in cold weather, but I should think, um, you know, the way it, it, it you know, when I, tr I tried it when... Uh, I, I was indoors it, I, it wasn't that you know it did not uh, uh, really really have that uh, you know uh, um, depth but I tried it again on a separate day and and then made sure I sat in the sun and I could s smell the wafts of it so yeah this has been Amali by Swiss Arabian in terms of rating I'll give this a 7 out, out of 10 it's not exactly groundbreaking so I you know um, it, it's 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 it, it's unique it's luxurious it's soft it's subtle it's it's not loud um, but at the same time, I wouldn't say, you know, it's, oh my God, that kind of thing. You know, it, it does have that just for, it's, it's ideal for that person that just likes, likes their fragrance to, you know, uh, uh, play, uh, uh, you know, a role in the background, at least for me, you know, because I do not get that loud in your face kind of, um, you know, or high moment with this. I, 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 I do not get that, that aha moment. I just get this 
beautiful luxurious fragrance which is a very super easy to reach kind of fragrance that's another thing i noticed i use this sometimes to go to sleep it has no nothing in it is annoying nothing in it in it is too outstanding even the fruits in here are done in a nice cocktail way not too much in your face the florals exactly you know the same they are just generally um it is generally a, a fragrance that I can reach for, you know, so I actually put it in my rotation uh, tray because if I just feel like I have nothing to wear or I just feel like, you know, I don't want anything that is too busy, this I find is quite nice and, you know, it just blends in with my body, uh, with my body chemistry and it's just beautiful and quiet. So yes, I've been talking about Swiss Arabian's um, Amali. Uh, for those who uh, were wondering, uh, uh, it comes in a 15 ml. I will link in the description box where you can find this fragrance. Um, it's a fragrance oil. Again, let me emphasize because it does have a perfume version, but this is an oil. So yeah, I hope you find uh, or you found this video uh, helpful. Let me know what you think about fragrance oils. Do you own any? I personally own a ton of fragrance oils. I will do, um, I'll bring you more videos on fragrance oils because that is what I normally layer my fragrances with. I will put a fragrance oil on my body and then put a fragrance, you know, to just give it that long lasting, you know, amped up um, feel. So yeah, uh, um, you know, I, I just hope you did find this uh, video useful. Do not forget to uh, subscribe, comment. Let me know in the comment section what you think of fragrance oils. Have you tried this before? Do you have another? The recommendation from Swiss Arabia, Arabian which you'd want me to do for you and uh, turn on the post notifications so that you are notified anytime I upload a video it's been your goal C Chronicles thank you for joining me today and remember smelling good is a form of good manners cheers